Hey guys and welcome to a new video. In this video we're gonna take a quick look at the new patch notes. We're not getting a new hero but what we're gonna get is a new skin for Balmond. The Savage Point Guard. It will be available tomorrow so that will be soon. Then the hero adjustments. All marksmen increase the attack growth of all heroes with the attack of marksmen by 10 to 25%. So that will be a really big buff for the marksmen. I hope I'm gonna see more of them because lately I only see assassin, tanks and mage, not too many marksmen. So I hope this will help. Then Belric uh, has been changed something with the nature seed uh, to make it easier to mark enemy heroes with the nature seed. We have adjusted the scheme of it. It now summons a zone of vines that deals damage to all enemy units on the path. When the vines reach the destination area, a random enemy hero will be marked with the nature seed. For Kagura, the Yin Yang Gathering now displays the cooldown of both status. For Martis, uh, Azura Aurora Aura, it now stuns the enemy on, instead of slows it for a short period of time. Uh, it now stuns the enemy instead of slows. So they first changed it to slow and now they changed it back to stunned. But now for a short time, I think it's still the same as it was before. Then we got Vexana, uh, Nether Share, adjust magic skill ratio to 2 from 2.5. So that's a nerf for Vexana. Cyclops HP growth uh, adjust to 150, uh, 152.6 from 142.6, so that's a buff. Then Chao, uh, Jeet Kundo, slightly decrease the blink distance of each dash. So first they made it bigger and now they made it a little bit less. Okay. Then lastly, Master of Camouflage cooldown adjust to 5, 4.5, 4, 3.5, 3, 3 2.5 from 5. Oh, let me see if it's a nerf. Uh, it's above. It was 3 seconds, now it's 2.5 seconds. And Lethal Shot now deals at most 2.8 gear damage. I think 2800 damage at most. Then Leomord uh, increased 10 HP growth of each level. Uh, Lunox, Power of Chaos, Darkening. We have redesigned it to better suit the effect of Power of Chaos. Lunox now dash into a designed uh, designation direction. Power of Chaos will be strengthened for a short period of time and cooldown of chaos assault decrease uh, starlight pulse chaos assault improve the visual effect when the upgrades them okay for Hayabusa it's a nerf quad shadow got one more second and added to the cooldown so it will be one more second longer for heart mystic flavor adjust starting damage 260 from 150 so that's a buff uh, mystic injection uh, adjust cooldown uh, it's also a buff it was 5.5 and now it will be 5 seconds at max and got the gacha unbreakable adjust the minimum town time to 0 0.9 from 0 0.5 that's a nerf gacha Dive adjustment gotcha now gets 15, 30, 45 magic resistance instead of 10, 20, and 30. So that's a buff for gotcha. Uranus uh, Transcendent Ward it now clears slowdown debuffs against Uranus. Magic skill ratio gained from shields is just for uh, 2, 3 from 2. So that's also a buff. Then Angela fix a bug where using hard guard will fix the viewpoint to an ally hero. Zask fixed a bug where immortality triggers his passive. Now Nightmare Spawn continues to attack when immortality is effective. 
And we got the battlefield adjustments. And the new event futures. They have added some new login event uh, at a time period. So they have an uh, event at 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. If you log, uh, log in between that time, you get a reward. And also between 6 and 8 p.m. you get also a reward. Uh, note time times are based on the time settings of the player's device. We got some other nice things. If you want to read it, you can pause the video. But this where the updates. And they sadly didn't put in the skin of Balmont yet. As you can see right here. But this were the patch notes, let me know what you guys think of it and I hope I will see you back at the next one.